Hi, I'm Lynn Kleiner. Welcome to another edition of Kitchen Instruments. In this episode, we have water drums. So here's what you need. A couple big bowls. I really love metal bowls. Fill them about two thirds of the way with water and then find at least one good plastic bowl. I was able to find two plastic bowls that are gonna float on top of the water. That is our goal. So here's one of the bowls. Just a regular plastic dish, okay? And you lay it on top, float, float. Ta-da, there it is. And now, ooh, listen to that tone. Come on in a little closer, ooh. Yeah, it sure sounds different than the plastic when we have just this plastic dish, right? All right, here's another one. I'm gonna lay that on top of the water. Oh, there it goes. Okay, and check that out. Yeah, all right, so we are ready with our water drums. And the rhyme goes like this. It's one, two, three, four. Kitchen instruments, let's play more. Five, six, seven, eight. Water drums now, I can't wait. One, two, three, four. Kitchen instruments, let's play more. Five, six, seven, eight. Water drums now, I can't wait. Now, what if you have a bowl like this? And when you put it in the water, it doesn't float. Oh no. There it is. Oh, it sinks. Okay. We have another use for this type of bowl. So I'm gonna hit the metal bowl on the side. Listen to this incredible sound. Now I'm gonna take the bowl, hold it just like this, and as I'm tapping the side, I'm gonna push the bowl down. Oh yeah, I'm thinking that some of my students are gonna have so much fun pushing that bowl up and down as someone taps for them. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? Let's try here. I could even use this sink bowl, too. I could use this one. One, two, three, four. Kitchen instruments, let's play more. Five, six, seven, eight. Water drums, now don't be late. Listen to that awesome ring. Wow. All right, see you next time. Bye. Have fun in the kitchen.